Hey guys, I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to some Victoria 2. We are the United States of America. Let's unpause here. We are in an election year, and so hopefully we will find out who gets elected. Um, spoiler alert, it's almost essential. It is almost certainly going to be the conservatives. So the Democratic Party supports moralism. Actually, most of our people support moralism. So we give moralism. And you can see that will affect our the party, support of the party. And you can see our voters' ideologies and our people's ideologies mostly are in line with the uh, makeup of the house. Ecuador can be improved relations, so this is good. Everybody is cordial down here, which is good. Minnesota and North Dakota would like statehood, so I will extend the offer to them. Minnesota. Where's Minnesota? Right here. Minnesota. Minnesota and North Dakota. Bring them in population of the u.s grows um very much so we are looking for free trade so export and import yep we want to make sure we maintain our stance on free trade everybody becomes yep this is good that's what we're looking for gain some of this and here you can see here coalition of uh, conservative and reactionary parties gathered 56 percent to win the democratic party over Looks like the Whig Party actually pulled through some decent votes, which is uh, a little interesting to see. But uh, Iowa is also looking for statehood. There is Iowa. You shall not be a slave state, though. And Wyoming, which is right here. It says American Wyoming, because as you can see, part of the state here is uh, controlled by Mexico. And we will not have that. We cannot, we cannot send a colonist on an expedition over here because Oregon is considered not solid uh for life so our education points or our whatever these are called intellectuals provide research points that's what i was looking for research points are still going up so let's have these guys over here i actually had that and now you can see how much that goes up let's go with muzzle loaded rifles which will give us combat with reduction but most importantly engineers which is what we really need the rio grande okay yeah that's fine so what is this? Rebels. Mexico is still at war? Nope, just at war with the Rio Grande. Their war exhaustion is 31. So uh, they're getting shellacked a bit over there. As you can see, our admin efficiency is going up. Yeah, our economy is, is not really doing super good. <laughs> Florida would like statehood. Uh, we will not extend slavery to them they can kick rocks colorado asks for statehood uh colorado is right yeah colorado you shall extend statehood as well welcome friends now i'm not exactly sure how many intellectuals you can have you see there was a bit of loss for the conservatives and a gain for the liberals Attempt to justify war using the demand concession cast its belly by Afghanistan against Afghanistan by the United Kingdom was detected. All right. The Fugitive Slave Act. By introducing the Federal Fugitive Slave Act, we can enforce the return of escaped slaves to their owners in the state slave states. Doing so will, at least for some time, calm the southern fear of abolitionism. Lowers consciousness. That's fine. I kind of want a little bit of consciousness because consciousness allows you to pass reforms which uh, we would like to get some healthcare and some school system because this helps increase uh, population growth and uh, education. Rebel scum. So there's some successionist sentiment rising. If you take a look at our diplomat mode and we hover it over here, you can see the Confederates have a couple of cores and uh, some of these states are starting to join. Uh, right now, it looks like it's just South Carolina. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing. That's good news so far. Idaho. Sure, Idaho. So you can see here, Columbia has, um, has um, some of that there. So Venezuela would like to increase opinion. They are now friendly, which means the next one, we'll be able to import them, pull them into our sphere of influence. An outbreak of smallpox. Yikes. That poor kid. Um, lose militancy. And it changes 
A 25% chance? Oh my gosh. Uh, that's terrible. Yikes. Uh, I'll go with the one that leaves loses less pops, right? That sounds terrible. Foul murder, huh? Demand the police pr produce a perpetrator or let us not throw an allegedly wild about. That's fine. Colombia improve our relations with them. They are now friendly. Very good. We are increasing increasing relations with many people in South America, which is really good for us in the long term. Yucatan wants an alliance. I don't care about Yucatan. They're just a rebel breakaway state from um, Mexico as well. As you can see, Mexico is having some, uh, you know, internal struggles right now. Plurality going up. Look at our research points. We're almost double what we were at before. The Empire of Brazil is now friendly. Very good. Our sphere of influence will grow quite soon. So as you can see here, we are gaining, losing a bit, but we're mostly gaining intellectuals. So we're going to keep those guys going in our major states for now. I think it can, it'll go up to about 4% and then it will stop going there. So you can see over here that uh, the UK is trying to get some points in uh, Texas. So what I need to do is make sure that I boost up my um, priority with these two guys to prevent uh, them from doing anything funky with me. So, child labor restricted or gain prestige. That's a lot of prestige. Um, all pops gain three militancy. That's fine with me. I don't care. So be it. That prestige is too good to pass up. That actually allowed us to step up and surpass Austria and the great powers. We're very close to Prussia even. So uh, I think I can handle a little bit of militancy. That being said, we are likely to have some rebels. I'll have these guys set to a rebel suppression. Let's take a look at our revolt risk map mode. Oh yeah, the South is definitely, average militancy in the South is 7.1. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I think we're gonna need to turn our army maintenance up a bit. We have a surplus of income. This is fine. We have engineers that we can start drafting. So let's get some engineers. Uh, let's see here. Can I get Yankees? Nope. All Dixies. That's fine. One for each stack. Okay. I, uh, nice. Webster Ashburton Treaty. Um, long standing dispute in the borders. The U.S. does not compromise. Relations with the UK drops by 200, or we improve relation, gain prestige, and gain some gain a core. That is fine. So I think that is actually for Duluth, if I recall correct. Yeah, Duluth. So that is a bit much. I don't think we need to be spending that much money. I will turn this this down just a bit to like 66%. Save a little bit of money. Plurality going up. Research, we obviously need to pick one. We could go with industry. Culture tends to be the ones that are going to get you ahead the most early on. As you can see, empiricism will come in 1860, which will give us another 50%. Commerce will give us factory techs. And army will give us military tactics. With the Spanish-American or the Spanish-Mexican-American War coming up soon, it might be in our best interest to start working on that. This gives us attack. This gives us morale and tactics at the... Okay. Let's go with medicine. Medicine is a really good one. We need it. Well, actually, I should have taken this earlier. Uh, medicine gives you pop growth issues, things. So medicine is good. Plus, it gives us supply limit, which is going to be really useful because if you take a look at um, supply limit around us, if we're going into Mexico, we're going to be having some issues. Just like this army, they're going to take a ton of attrition being out here no matter what. So raising that is going to be good for us. Uh huh. The fact that we can't raise our taxes is unfortunate, man. Let's raise our tariffs a bit. I hate the I hate doing it because it does hurt American economy. But let's just raise it up to twenty five. That's fine. The reason why I want my army to have a little bit of um, I think what that alert is telling me is that people are joining the Confederates, right? Yeah. So North Carolina, no. Yep, Virginia joined the Confederates.
Sphere of Influence for Ecuador. So it looks like Venezuela is now not being increased with them. So there you go. Muzzle loaded ar rifle armament gives us infantry attack, which is good for us. I think we can lower these guys now because I don't think Great Britain is working on them anymore. Matter of fact, I will go to Texas and I will expel advisors from the UK. They are opposed to them, but now they're going to have zero points with them, which is good. So we have engineers popping up. We have one here. Get them in DC. And let's get the other one down here. And then the last one is already down here. So we're good. So there's a 415 stack. That is the ideal stack if I've if my uh education on the game is correct. Um and so I could afford one more stack, and I'm tempted to do it. So let's let's do it. Let's go one let's see here. One, two, three, four. One Hussar. Again, look to see if I can get a Yankee. One engineer. And four artillery. Plus ten. That it goes up to here. So we'll be up to 40. Tax efficiency going up, which is good. Economy going down, but that's just because we are purchasing a ton of cannons. <laughs> Uh, liberal support in the house. Um, I don't care particularly. Liberals gain militancy, huh? I prefer to not have militancy if I can avoid it. The militancy in the south is quite high. So we're going to probably have a couple of smaller uprisings. We can now do our um, a political reform here. So you can hover over these and it'll tell you what people are interested in, right? So it says 13% of the population want this reform, universal voting. So let's give it to them and that will make them happy with the ruling party. It will lower militancy. Those are all good things. I will also go with inorganic chemistry, which will give us a couple of other things here. Uh, some output, but most importantly, supply limit so now if you take a look here select this army this stuff is all low supply limit because it's enemy we own this territory so we'll be able to get um around in here pretty easy but the idea is to minimize the amount of attrition we're going to take because mexican attrition is terrible in this game terrible um let's actually set this as our rally point and not worry about over here oopsies These guys over to Charleston. Those guys grouped up. All pops in the Fort Gibson will lose consciousness or I gain prestige for what? A year? Pop militancy and local consciousness. That sounds good. I'll take the prestige. We're actually up to number four now. Oh, I think we were at number four before. But yeah, we're very close to Prussia in terms of power, which is really nice. Confederate States of America, Mississippi. Militancy is rising in the south. So Mississippi has joined the Confederacy. More prestige. Moralism. Very good. Uh, wagon, tra wagon train of 1830 or 1834. Um, now Oregon is Oregon is firmly in our hands. So that gives us colonization of Oregon, which is cool. And we can give them statehood and I will I will do that. There we go. We've got to be real close to passing them, huh? Especially as our army is growing. Looks like they're growing as well somehow. We have a lot of prestige. Not nearly as much... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not nearly as much... Uh, economic power. This is good. As long as we're like basically breaking even, I don't need to be making a ton of money. So military hospitals, population growth and army attrition, all very good things to have here. As our, as our population grows, our economy will also grow. And you can see factories. If you take a look at what we got here, we have like a canned foods factory, which is, is essential for many different types of uh, army recruitments. 
you have steel, you have wood or lumber, I think it's a sawmill, a textile mill, bottling works, which is really good for economy because this is an export. So if you take a look here at our trade, you can see we are exporting in high demand, huh? Does it say they're all in high demand? Not in high demand. So that's a price change. Interesting. Okay. So it says AI because it's automated. Um, you can see here the price has gone down because not a lot of people are buying it, which is good. One thing that I think would be smart is if we were to buy a few to keep in stockpile. Uh, what that does is that will essentially we sink a bunch of our money, but it doesn't let other people in the world purchase them. So what this does is it will raise our stockpile to get us up to say 500. It'll tank our economy for a few months. Uh, and as you can see here, we are purchasing lots and lots and lots of it. Where are we at here? There you go. Now we have a stockpile and our it will go back up. And so what this means is, is we will try to maintain a stockpile of at least that. Uh, I will also do the same thing with guns. Because we want to make sure we will never, never fall short on guns. Ammunition, same thing. 500 seems like a sweet spot. And this isn't necessary. Like, like I said, this is going to destroy our economy for the time being, but... Same with um, canned goods. I want to make sure that we stay up on canned goods. We don't need as much of that. But as we finish this up, Venezuela can now be added to our sphere of influence. We have our first South American nation in the sphere of influence of the United States. So, very good stuff. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Through the plains, I think. You shall join. Uh-huh. And uh, our economy should stabilize as we finish buying up all these goods. And there you go. And that means most of the stuff that we produce is being sold, which is really good for our economy. Reform rally. People have taken to the streets in one of our states, exasperated over the lack of political representation, held a rally, calling for our government to institute political reform. More conservative or liberals and socialists gain militancy. Goodness gracious, we have socialists? I hope not. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is fine, actually. Uh, as long as we don't have rebels popping up. We just have some rebels popping up here in uh, Manassas. Manassa? What is this called? Manassas? So it looks like most of the rebel issues in the south have mostly resolved, which is good. Let us uh, turn our army minutes down just a wee little bit. Save a bit of cash. Keep our economy rolling. So hopefully this uh, event will happen soon. Manifest Destiny, I think, is the decision to incorporate Texas. And in order to do that, state and government, huh? All right. So that's the next, next research here, which is good because we literally are doing it right now. The national focus is also nice. So it looks like we are at 4% here. So what we do now is we go down and uh, we say, hey, the next three states here, would you guys please encourage intellectuals, which will then in turn give us more research points. So all good things, paper production, yes. Our research will continue to increase the amount of production we're doing, which is good. Slave market, uh, repulsive. Sure, that's way too much reading for me. An election is on. Let's see how it turns out. Alliance offer from Venezuela. Um, I'm going to decline that because Venezuela tends to go to war with Colombia. And I do not want to have my uh, my allies down here receiving any reason, like give it, getting any reason to get mad at me. Um, nope. We want to not have as much interest in tariffs. Min life rating. Military hospitals and army attrition. Very good things. So Venezuela. So if he gets him up to 100, he will be able to. Uh, we are a laissez-faire, though. I think I want to go for interventionalism. So let's do that. That will give the Whigs, a, a liberals, which is the Whigs, a little bit more, a um, little bit more excitement in the national natural populace. Colombia can also be added to our sphere. 
what I was going to say is since Texas is at 100, any points that I send into them, it will use these points that would go to them to lower other people's influence. So since the UK is working, ah, Prussia passed me again or France, maybe France and Prussia are going back and forth quite a bit. But uh, what I'm doing here is I am, let's turn our army spinning up just a bit. As you can see, the conservatives gained a bit of power and population growth is good. The Democratic Party is a uh, ruling party, coalition, conservative and reactionary parties somehow got 100. Add these guys to our sphere. Good stuff. Add these people to our sphere. Good stuff. And I think now we can start worrying about Peru. Uh, and as you can see over here, Venezuela is no longer being influenced by England so, or Great Britain. So we don't need to worry about them. And uh, now you can see we're putting plenty of influence points into these guys. Um, discriminatory school system. The schools in Boise are heavily geared towards supporting small Yankee minority there. And as a result, the Native American minor citizens feel oppressed. I'll gain the research points. That sounds good to me. Any and all research points are appreciated for sure. We're up to almost 20 uh, research points a month, which is really good. Nope, we will not ally Colombia. As I said, they tend to go to war with Venezuela. I want to keep my sphere. Oh, what is this? Supply limit map mode. Oh, yikes. South America not looking good for that. Ecuador is almost ready to be in our sphere. Uh, Bolivia looking okay. Rio Grande Sul. I think they're actually at war in the 14... Uh, 14 40, in uh, 1836. Chile is in our center, our sphere. Chile, nope. I'm not going to ally any of these guys, honestly. Because if they go to war with each other, then it pulls them out of my sphere, which is just annoying. Let's do this. This is basically like army maintenance in EU4. It uh, allows you to have their morale. So if you if we scroll in here, you can see their morale is at like 50% or whatever. You know, about 45% because they're receiving 45% of their um, funding. So Oregon asks for statehood. We shall allow them on the condition that they do not practice slavery. Because I'm a good guy. So let's get our armies over here together. It is time to go to war with Mexico. For Manifest Destiny, quarantine the province, or how bad could it get for cholera? Oof. Savannah. Uh, let's do that there. Let's also turn our army maintenance up. Gonna need it. And uh, let's turn our administration spending down a bit, down to like 50%. Gonna keep my education spending as high as possible. Texas supplies for statehood. Trust the common man to get it right. Of course. Obviously, we do not extend slavery. Uh, so, now that we've integrated those guys, we have to take a minute to see. Let's go with professionals and the morale and tactics will be useful. So if we take a look at uh, what these guys have going on here. They have a total of five mil techs and I have a total of six. So, theoretically, we have an edge here. So, we can now manifest destiny, which will gain infamy, which is fine. If infamy is essentially uh, aggressive expansion in this game. Uh, it's a, kind of the analog here. We will gain a bunch of cores, uh, and essentially we're saying, hey, Mexico, give us that land. We have a claim to this because we, are, we have the rest of this land, and this is our land as well, and you should just give it to us. Um, Mexico refuses, and thus to war i love the war deck sound as well so they're allied to nicaragua i don't care matter of fact they will not accept they will not accept because we're all at war which is fine so let's go down to speed four here the nashville convention nashville in cool fact that's where i live i am a nashville boy lowers our consciousness which is fine i suppose decreases the risk of the uh civil war happening so we have a three stack up here in uh, sonoma heading into eugene oregon so far i don't see anybody else and i'm gonna have a stack over here heading down that way i'm gonna have a stack over here in texas stack over here and you're gonna stack up here to handle these guys take a look at our supply limit you can see we can get through most of this stuff without much issue but some of this stuff like look at this supply limit 24 look at this one 12 
eight. Oh, that's 24. But yeah, like most of these, we, we will take some serious attrition if we march our men in there. So we got to be very careful. We are at war, so we get low immigrant attraction. Understandable. Definitely understandable. Uh, so as you can see here, we are sieging this down and they are marching some med men over to uh, Cunha. We do not need to be hunting rebels there. So this is an all infantry army. I don't think I would like to engage them until I know for a fact that I will be able to do this. I have an extra unit here. Let's get some more intellectuals, of course. These guys are going to take literally forever to seize that down, so I'm not really too worried about that. They're still heading up to Acuna, so let's get these guys over here. Plurality is good. Rubber production is good. Chile? Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm curious if I call them in, would they march men up here? They would accept. Let's call them in. See if they join. All right, lads. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. We are now in the Spanish-American War. or I keep calling it the Spanish-American. Mexican-American War. We are going to hopefully siege down Mexico with uh, minimal losses here and uh, yoink all of our clay that is rightfully ours due to our claim for Manifest Destiny. But meanwhile, the Confederate States are growing their cores down here in uh, the southern United States of America. So we're going to have to figure out how that goes. If you guys are excited for some more Vicky 2 as well as just some more strategy gameplay in general, make sure you show your support, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already because there's plenty of content to come. If you haven't followed me over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot, there's also plenty of content that you're missing out on over there if you're not following us. Uh, also, I have a Discord if, and uh, Twitter if you'd like to check those out linked in the description. And uh, most of all, if you'd like to support us, we do have a Patreon linked in the description of each and every one of my videos. That support is enormous. It's what allows me to do what I do. Patreon support is essential. Also, we have some merch if you want to get some cool hoodies, shirts, stickers, mugs, anything sort of cool like that. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top mace supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlew, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharup, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchel, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Solier, and many more.